Notion just released a brand new feature that makes collaborating with other people in Notion even easier. The new suggested edits feature allows you to suggest edits to content that you're working on with other people. In this video, I'll be explaining exactly how this feature works. Let's get started. So as an example for this video, I've put together this marketing campaign for a tour to Japan. So let's say that you're a company that runs tours in Japan and you've just put together this new marketing campaign for a new tour. So this is the sort of thing that a team would collaborate on. So someone has written this and I'm now coming in to add some corrections or some suggestions on edits that should be made. So this is a perfect use case for the new suggested edits feature. So to start suggesting edits, you'll want to switch on suggesting mode. And there's actually a couple of different ways that you can do that. So the easiest way is to click on the three dots up here in the top right hand corner and you want to toggle on this suggest edits option. So if I toggle that on, as you can see up here, it now says suggesting and that is indicating that I'm now in in suggesting mode. Another way that you can switch on suggesting mode is by simply highlighting something that you want to change. So let's say I want to change this date. I'll highlight the piece of text and you'll see this little icon here. And if you hover over it, it says suggest edits. And if I click that, it's also gonna take me to suggesting mode. So as I said, you'll know you're in suggesting mode if you see this up in the top right hand corner. And if you ever want to exit suggesting mode, you can simply just click the X here and it will remove it. And now I'm in just the normal editing mode. I'm not in the suggest mode. So you might be wondering what's the difference between the normal mode and suggest mode. Well, if I'm editing this date normally, I might want to change this say for the 31st. So what I've done just here is I've just updated the document. I've not suggested anything. No one's going to be able to easily see that I've changed this, whereas suggest mode is different. So let me just change this back to where it was. So let's go back into the three dots menu and let's switch on suggest mode. So now that I'm in suggest mode, if I now change this date. So I'm going to start by deleting what we have. And as you can see, it's now adding this kind of like grayed out background. And over here, it's now showing the suggestion that I've made. So I've currently just suggested that we remove the 10th. And as you can see here, it's now showing that I've added a suggestion to delete the 10th, but I actually want to replace it with a different date. So let's change it to the 31st. And as you can see, anything that I want to add shows up in blue. So blue means I want to add it. And this grayed out means I want to delete it. And they'll all show over here as a suggestion. So that's the only suggestion I'm going to make over here. And these will then show up on the side to show the suggestions that I've made. So whoever is going to approve the suggestion or reject the suggestion can come over here and see these later. Let's make a couple more suggestions. Let's maybe add something to this sentence here. So at the end, I'm just going to remove the full stop, which as you can see has been added as a suggestion. And let's add some text here as well. So for this sentence here, I wanted to add a little bit more clarity on the office. So I've added a little bit of extra info at the end, as you can see, and that's showing up with the blue background, which means I'm suggesting that we add it and it's showing up here. Let's maybe add one more suggested edit. I want to add another line here inside this list. So here is another suggested edit that I've added and that's showing up here. So at this point you might be wondering, so what actually happens once you've made these suggested edits? Well, the owner of the page will now receive an inbox notification notifying them that you've made these changes and they can then come to this page and they'll see all of your suggested edits over here in the side. Now this is the really, really fun part that makes it so much quicker and easier to actually either approve or reject these edits. So let's say that I'm now the person that is here to approve or reject the edit. So the first edit was to delete this 10th date here and replace it with the 31st. So let's say that I agree with this edit. All I need to do is simply accept it by selecting this check mark icon. As you can see, once I've done that, the 10th has now disappeared. And the next suggestion was to add the 31st in here. So let's say I also approve of that suggestion. So I'll click the accept button and that edit has now been made. So it's now been replaced with whatever it was before. So it's really quick and easy to actually just approve these edits. So so this was the next one. So again, I have the choice to either accept it or reject it. You can also add a reaction. So you can react with any emoji here. So maybe I think this one is terrible. So I'm going to reply with a cross mark. You can also actually add a reply to a suggestion. So let's say I want to reply to this saying, you don't have to be this sassy, but that's what I'm going to reply with. You can also add files if you want to, or mention a particular person, page or date. So if I want to send this message, I'll just click this button and it has now been added as a 
comment. So let's say that I don't like this suggestion, so I'm actually gonna click the reject. And as you can see, it's now simply been removed. Let's also reject the removal of the full stop. So this is now what we have. So it's simply just deleted that suggestion. Let's approve this final one. So if I approve it, it's simply just gonna add that into the document. And remember when you're finished suggesting edits, don't forget to exit from suggesting mode. And to do that, you simply just click this X here and you're now out of suggestion mode. And that's it, that's everything you need to know about the new Notion update, which is suggested edits. If you want to be even more productive, then make sure you check out my Second Brain template, which is an advanced productivity system. It has tons of five-star reviews from people that have used it. You can grab this template over on my store. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And if you did find the video useful, then make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as I do upload new Notion tutorials like this one every single week.